Hello, I'm Brett Knowles from PM Squared. This short vignette provides a quick overview of how information changes inside the organization as strategy cascades from the corporate level down to the lowest level in the organization. Now the cascade structure is fairly straightforward and as information moves down the organization we need to slightly change what it looks like. The top of the house corporate uh, executive level people typically should be using an overall scorecard with strategic objectives, weightings, and performance indicators. As we cascade down, we might move towards an impact diagram into more of a dashboard and eventually what many people call the business intelligence layer. The important concept though is whatever the strategic objective is, as we cascade down and drill down through the information, I should continue having a line of sight against that issue. So, for example, at the top of the house, at the strategy map level, we're going to be taking a look at strategic objectives. As we cascade down, we're going to translate those strategic objectives into one or more operational objectives. The operational objectives, in turn, get cascaded down to tactics and eventually down to tasks. An example might be, um, overall, we're concerned about, say, market penetration. Within that, the operational objectives, one of many, might be price leadership. We're going to penetrate the market. One of our tactics is price leadership tactic. Now within that, we might be looking at a specific tactic of a 10% undercut against the market average. And the task, one of many, to support that could be something like how do we monitor that pricing on a daily basis. In this way, we've taken a strategic objective and we've cascaded it down through a series of operational, tactical, and specific tasks that get us down to what individuals and teams might do in the organization. Now, another way to look at this is the strategic objectives tend to embrace a one to five year time horizon for a typical organization. Operational objectives might be quarterly or in some organizations monthly. Tactics tend to be monthly or weekly, and we get down to daily or weekly activities at the task level. So there are three important lessons here. Lesson number one is as you drill down or cascade down the organization, the timeline of the metrics gets shorter and shorter. The specific metrics timeline will depend on the drumbeat of your business. Secondly, the metrics itself translate as you get lower and lower that begin to describe the specific activities that support the next level up. And first, of course, is that how we portray the information needs to change to make it appropriate for the different readers and watchers inside your organization. Simple definitions that you might want to consider are things like strategic objectives. Look out the farthest in time. They tend to be cross-functional and they have a reporter as opposed to a specific owner because they're cross-functional. Operational objectives tend to have an owner because I'm now moving inside the organization chart. They typically have mid-level time buckets and they do also tend to be cross-process but not necessarily cross-functional. Finally, tactical objectives tend to be reported on a very short timeline. They tend to be within one process and they typically have a specific operator or owner that has that inside their job description. Now, of course, this is just a summary. To learn more about these concepts and others, please join us at pm2consulting.com.